Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. Glad you are here. Today we're going to talk about the Chanel 2021 Spring Collection. And y'all, we are going to use some good oldie but goodies. We are using, we're going through the collection. We're going to use some Le Beige. This is the older Le Beige light shades. We're going to use my Chanel Sublimage. So we're going to use a full, almost full face of Chanel. I don't have a brow pencil yet, and y'all need to let me know if I need to try that. We're going to use an almost full face of Chanel, and I'm excited to share with you what my thoughts are on the new collection, and I need your help to, <laughs> to decide which, which products you would like to see. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, y'all, let's get started with our full face of Chanel. I am going to start with my... Sublimage. I'm going to start with my Sublimage. This is B30. That's a shade. I am actually liking this a lot more than I thought I would. I know, right? It's so interesting how when you start trying things and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, but this is actually very nice. It's a very pretty foundation and I'm, I'm liking it. So I put two pumps on my hand. It's probably way too much, but I'm just buffing it into my Barbie Brown brush, which is like one of my favorite brushes. And really just blending it easily onto the skin. It's very pretty and glowy and natural looking on the skin, yet it does give some coverage. So that is one kind of fail swoop layer. I really like it. It's really, really pretty. And I feel like the shade is a really good match for me right now. I feel like it also is easy to wear. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. All right, with the new La Beige's launch, they are coming out with the a deeper shade, I think, of the bronzer, which is totally needed. <laughs> And I am really curious to try it. Would you guys be interested in me trying that? I'm. This one itself is actually not as deep as I thought it would be. It's quite light. I'm actually just going to use the same brush. But it is a really pretty formula. Now, this one has coconut oil in it, which is different than the previous one which did not, they reformulated this, and I'm not sure what the new one is going to be like. I wonder what it's going to be like. It, will it have the same formulation? Or I assume probably so, but, hmm, you know? Some people just can't wear different ingredients and things like that, so I know that was kind of one of those things that a lot of people couldn't try it because of that ingredient in it. Um, this is, I like the formulation. I think it's really pretty, but the shade for me is kind of like, meh, it doesn't really do much for me. It gives a little bit of bronze, but not like, it, it just needs a little bit more depth for me. And um, I'm curious to see how the new one is. Would you be interested in me trying the new bronzer? I don't know how deep that one's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be like super, super deep or where, I don't, or what it's gonna be like. I, ha I don't know, I have no idea. Now with blush, I think I'm gonna go in with, oh, I don't know, what did I use? <laughs> I have so many pretty blushes by Chanel, but this one is so beautiful. And we're going to use more of a, more of like this kind of color story. So maybe this blush would go, we'll just throw it on. I mean, why not? I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's kind of like this here. And this is the highlighter, you guys, look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's see, I'll show you the swatch. This is called the Fleurs de Printemps. This one came out last year. Gosh, I can't keep up anymore. It's like, when did it come out, right? 
but it's fun. I love, look at that. Maybe this year? This year. This year. I think this one came out this year. I can't remember. I'm going to look it up now. Now I'm, I'm, now I'm like, when did it come out again? Really pretty, isn't it? There aren't any blushes coming out. They just reformulated their brand new blush line. And I personally like them. I, I actually do. I feel like they're a little bit more fragrance, though. I do feel like that. And it's not a bad thing, necessarily, if you like the fragrance. But if you don't like the fragrance, then they may not be, like, they may not be for y'all or whatnot if you're if you don't like fragrance. But I will say they I do I do like them. I don't think they're terrible or anything. Very nice indeed. This is such a pretty shade. And I am going to use the highlighter on top. Right there. I want to do more videos where I'm able to use a lot of the products that I do have because I do think it's important to use those too. So I think this is kind of fun to be able to talk about what is new, but also use what I already have as well. I don't have a Chanel eyebrow pencil or any, do y'all have one? Have you used one? Do you suggest one from the line? I'm curious. I've really only, I'm start, I'm just using this new Dior one. I don't, I like this brush type thing. It's like a little, it almost looks like a little artiste brush, paddle brush thing on the end, but I don't know. I think the shade for me is just a little warm. I got the light brown shade. I think I like a spoolie better though, if I had to pick one. All right, so the I feel like the main attraction for the Labatia's line that is coming out this coming week are the eyeshadow palettes. Now, there is a love-hate relationship with these eyeshadow palettes. I feel like, like people either love them or they don't. <laughs> I personally really like them. Now, do I wish the packaging was a little different? Yeah, I feel like their packaging here is a little difficult to get into the actual shades, but I mean, I think the formulas are very beautiful. And this one is the light shade in the Labages. And honestly, this shade right here, guys, is one of the best shades, I think, from Chanel. Like, look at this. It is so beautiful. And I'm really on the fence of trying to figure out which one I want to try from this collection. There's two eyeshadow palettes, right? I don't know. I need y'all's help because should I get both? But I feel like the other one is quite pinky red. And I feel like, oh my gosh, Chanel, pink and reds all the time. But the, I mean, I'm definitely picking up the other one, which is this really pretty kind of neutral, brownie, almost like a green in there too, very almost earthy toned. So I'm definitely picking up that one, but I don't know about the, I don't know about the pink and I don't know. So y'all let me know. Okay. Help a girl out. <laughs> Let's, I'm going to swatch this one for you. This is the light. Hopefully that's, oh, I did it. Always, everyone does that, and I'm like, I want to do that. Like, every time I do that, it never turns out right, right? All right, let me see. Where am I? Here, let me put this deepest one right here. Like, look at that. Isn't it pretty? So this is the light in Chanel Le Beige's eyeshadow quint. All right, so let's play. I think I'm going to go in the purple first. This shade here. And I am going in with this Chicahoto F07. And I'm just going to go on the outer right here and really just focus it on the outer and the, like the outer and the crease, just to kind of start somewhere. But look how pretty that is. Oh, 
See, isn't it gorgeous? Like, I just love, I don't know, I like these. Now, uh, now do I, do I want to try both or just this one or just that one? Because the shades look stunning, y'all. So there is that one shade. And then next we're going to go in with that beautiful shade that I just adore. It's like one of my favorite shades. And I'm using a FO5 by Chica Hoda. And I'm just going to throw that all over the lid. And it gives your lid this gorgeous shimmer. Like, look at that. Isn't that just stunning? Look. Very pretty, guys. I just feel like it gives your eyes such dimension. Yeah, it's not too much. It's not too much. I love it. Isn't it fun to like go through like older makeup? Okay. So right here we're going to go and just highlight the top brow bone. Great highlight shade here. Not a lot of mattes in here, guys. They're really a soft shimmer, very uh, mature shimmer at that. And then I'm going to take the same shade and then go on the inner right here. Now, I'm not going to use this shade here, but you can use this shade as a liner or you can like really deepen the crease. I guess I could line just a little bit. Let's see if I can do that here. Yeah, just a little bit like on the outer right here. And you can see how that deepens the lash line some. I am going to take my finger with this pink. So the pink here, I just love how you can either wear a lot of them or just one. So I'm going to take the pink and just, I think maybe go right here, just on the inner. So it's kind of like lighter to deeper. I do have the Chanel water stylo waterproof eyeliners. I have some of them. I like them. I, some of them are a little, um, some of them are really soft and then some of them aren't, which is kind of odd. I don't know why, but I'm excited to see the new formulation that's coming out in June. I really want to try those. Um, this one in Romance is great. It's just a pretty, pretty shade. If you are interested in this type of shade, let's see. Another one is this Blackwood which is gorgeous too, and it smokes out really well. That one's really good. Maybe I just had an old one before. Maybe that was the case because these are really, I don't know what I was thinking. Here's another one. This is Psyche. Let's see this one. So this one was kind of a berry shade. Really pretty. So let's see, maybe I'll use, I don't know if I'm going to use one today, but I am excited about the new formulation and seeing what that looks like. That's in June now, not with this release, but I am excited about it. <laughs> All right, this is a newer mascara to me. It's called Dimensions Ultim Ultimas de Chanel. This is a tubing mascara, and I had no idea that Chanel was doing or making a tubing mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes while we talk but I just I had no idea when we were in clubhouse someone mentioned hey have you tried the tubing mascara and like what tubing mascara by Chanel so hence we all wanted to try it so I picked it up and it's actually very nice the thing is is I have to make sure it dries or it will smudge I've had a few issues with it smudging not a ton but I'm continuing to try it. I think too, initially was a little wet for me. That's how all Chanel mascaras are for me though. But once it dries down, it's like amazing. <laughs> so I feel like this is not gonna give you the Le Volume de Chanel look. I mean, that is just a look on its own. It's just my favorite mascara of all time. I repurchase and repurchase and repurchase, but I thought it'd be fun to try a different 
mascara for y'all today so that you guys can see what this looks like. If you're wondering what a tubing mascara is, it literally creates little tubes around your lash lashes and they're almost like fibers around your lashes and when you take it off, you only take it off with warm water and it comes off. It's very simple and easy and it's not supposed to flake or anything like that, which is so nice. But this is more of a natural effect on me, yet it's still lengthening and quite volumizing. With the lips though, it does look like they are the Rouge Coco Flashes. There's this coral shade that looks absolutely stunning. There's a red that looks beautiful. You guys, I do like the Coco Flash formula, but I feel like I have just a lot of lips. I don't know, I feel like I need to wear more. <laughs> I feel like I do have, um, I, I would probably pick up maybe one or two of the lips. What do you think? Like, which shades are you interested in from a lip Coco Flash perspective? I would love to know. Today we're gonna to use the shade Boy, but I'm gonna line my lips first because Boy is such a very, I'll show you first. Boy is this shade. It is just so pretty, but it's very, very sheer and neutral and just has a little bit of color. And this is it alone on the lips. It's so good. It's like that staple cocoa flash shade, I feel like. But let's go in with a lip liner. And this is my favorite lip liner by Chanel. It is the Nude Brun. So that just deepens it up a little bit. It's kind of like this brownie nude shade. Y'all know I love my brownies. So I love this. I have an extra one already. Um, I do want to try more of the lip liners too. So curious to see what you would want to see from this collection. There are some beautiful, here's a swatch of nude run too, just so you have that. There are some beautiful nail polishes as well. They look gorgeous, y'all. And I'm curious about those. I don't know. Which shade of a nail polish? If I picked up a nail polish, what would you like to see? Let me know. <laughs> I don't normally pick up nail polishes from collections, but these just stood out to me for some reason. I don't know why. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see from a review standpoint. The collection does drop on May 11th, so I am excited. That's so close. So close, guys. And it was a lot of fun using a lot of my Chanel products that I already have as well and kind of going through oldie but goodies. I love doing that. I'm glad you're here. I invite you to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. We'd love to chit chat and all the things and I will leave my latest video right here and I'll see you over there. Bye y'all.